welcome back to my channel. Today I want to respond to a viewer. The viewer wanted to fix an error that they got from a tutorial that I posted into this channel. And the tutorial was about creating a coffee shop program using Python. So I thought if I rewrite the entire program and I explain it line by line, maybe it will be helpful to them and to everyone who wants to learn Python. This tutorial we will create a class called a coffee shop and we will ask the user to enter their name type of coffee that they want and the quantity and then we will calculate the total at the end by generating a receipt that, that's what, what we will do in this program hope this will will be a solution for them if it is not a solution for you if you have any questions about the, the tutorials that i do please let me know in the comment section i read all the comments feel free to, to ask any questions that you have Let's start creating the program. Create a class uh, called coffee shop. Uh, I created a file called main.py using the PyCharm editor. So we'll say class coffee shop and we will create a constructor for this class. Inside this constructor, we have to create three dictionaries, one to store the prices, one to store the menu, the names of coffee that we sell. We also have to create a dictionary for the receipt. I already created it, so I'm gonna explain it one by one. The first dictionary is prices, and it will contain all the uh, prices for the four items that we sell. The first would be black coffee, that will be $2. The second would be espresso, Espresso, three dollars and fifteen cents. The third would be four dollars, which is latte, and lastly, it would be four ninety nine, which is a cappuccino. If you want to access variable outside the constructor Python, you have to use the the self keyword inside the constructor. That way, you can access it, it uh, outside of the constructor. That's why I'm using here here because we want to use the prices dictionary. To calculate the total uh, later on so the second uh, dictionary is storing the coffee types which are you know black coffee espresso latte and cappuccino and lastly the this dictionary stores the receipt that we will print to the screen it will contain the, the customer's name the type of coffee that they bought and the total so the next thing we have to do is to create a function or a method uh, that will prompt the user to insert uh, the name the choice and the one Quantity of the uh, coffee that they uh, bought. I will say self, and we use the self because the function that we will create belongs to the to the coffee shop. Python, when you want to create a private method, method that's only be used inside the class, you use underscore, you prefix it underscore. So say prompt user. So the first thing we have to do inside this function is to display a welcome message and ask the user the, the, their name. I will explain it here. Uh, inside the uh, print function, we said, hello, uh, welcome to our coffee shop. And what's your name? We will get the, the name. But before we get the name, we have to check if they are actually entering a string that contains the name. And otherwise, they could be entering you know, numbers or you know symbols, right? So in order to check that, we'll say uh, while true, say try, and we'll say name equal input, say name, and we will check if the name is alpha, which basically means like, is the name alphabetical? Is the name a string? If that's the case, we will break. So that's what we want. Otherwise, we we'll say error, enter, a valid string name and here the, the try uh, we have to add accept a uh, clause yeah. and we say a value error and it will say an error occurred in in this stage if this while uh, loop is exited because the the user provided a valid uh, name then we have to update the receipt this name it's it, to be exact we have to update that and in order to do that we will say self receipt name name this is the menu multi-line string which shows the menu of the uh, coffee shop uh, will have all the uh, coffee that we sell and all we have to do is say print menu after the, the program prints the menu we have to get uh, the choice that they made uh, either one two or three or four so we will use another while loop here and we'll say try we'll say choice in input choice 
So say if choice is greater or equal to one and choice is less than or equal to four, uh, to four, then we will break. That's what we wanted. Otherwise, you will say error and not a valid choice. Try again. It will say hey, accept value error. A print occurred. You have to also get the quantity. Say a while to try and you say quantity equal int input quantity and we will check here we say uh, quantity is greater or equal to one because we wouldn't want the quantity to be either zero or negative and also we want we want the quantity to be a whole number not a, a floating point number like 1.2 or 3.9 or something like that so in order to check that in python we will say is instance of then we say quantity and we say int. So we're basically saying is the quantity uh, an integer? If that's the case, we will break. Otherwise, we will say error, not a valid quantity. And here we say accept a value error, error and error occurred. So we get the name, the choice, and the quantity. So what's left is to create another uh, function to calculate the total for us. We say self and we will use the dash prefix calc total and we will pass the choice and we will pass also the quantity because these are important for us. Here, even though it is not necessary to do, we will check if the choice is between one and four. At this time, in this area the number must be between one and four because this while uh, loop will run again and again until the the user enters a valid choice which is one through four but just in case we will just uh, check it again we'll say if choice in in self that uh, prices that's the case the first thing we will say is get the price of the uh, of the choice that they made we say self price and we'll get the choice. Also, we will get the coffee type that they chose. They sell coffee types choice. So we have the price, we have the, the type, what's left is the total to calculate and the, the total is the price times the quantity and the quantity is passed here from this parameter. We will update the, re the receipt and if you don't remember the receipt, here's the receipt inside the constructor. So we will update these two remaining elements. We already set the name inside the uh, prompt user. Only two other left that are is, uh, the type and the total. So receipt type say a uh, coffee type and you'll say C total and here is totally up to you it's not uh, necessary to follow me but I like uh, the numbers to to only have two decimals after the deci after the decimal so this this is what I like I don't like the numbers to go on forever uh, so if you care about the precision of the number just uh, do this this is what you're gonna do you know if you do this you, you will not lose any numbers but I like a uh, number to have only two decimal points after the decimal. So we'll say round and the total and we'll say two. And you don't have to be using two. You could use three, you could use four. So whatever number you put here will be the the numbers after the uh, decimal point. So we'll say two here. Then we will return self receipt. We will return this receipt to whomever is calling this method. We will say else if there is an any error, an error occurred calculating the finish this uh, method lastly we will create another function to print uh, the receipt, receipt say get a receipt a print here is your receipt thank you for shopping with us we'll add a new line here for key value in self receipt items and we say uh, F key, and we will add a, a tab here. And lastly, even though it's not necessary, we'll say here, we'll add dashes. To summarize, let's summarize everything we did. We created a class called Coffee Shop. Inside the class, we created a constructor. Inside the constructor, we created three dictionaries, one to store the prices for the coffee shop the menus. The other, we created coffee types that will store the type of uh, coffee that we sell.
The third uh, dictionary would be the, the receipt that will store the name, the type of coffee, and the total. And here we call the prompt user function to prompt the user. Inside the prompt user function, we created a hello message welcoming the customer to the coffee shop and we ask them their name. Inside this while loop, we make sure that the name that they gave us is a name that's a string. Otherwise, we keep asking them. After we exit the while loop, we set the receipt name to the name that we got once they have given us a valid name. After that, we created a multi-line menu displaying the menu of the coffee shop, all the four menu items. Then we displayed using the print function, created another while loop prompting the user to give us a choice from uh, this menu uh, for them to give us their choice. Here in the if statement, we check if the choice is between one and four. And if it is, then we exit the entire while loop. Otherwise, we keep uh, prompting the user. Uh, we create the third and the final uh, while loop here, uh, prompting the user to enter a quantity. Check here if the quantity is not a negative a number or a zero. We also check if the quantity is a, an integer, not a floating point. Otherwise, we keep asking the user. We called this function we, we created called calculate total, and we pass the choice and a quantity. Inside this a calculate a total a function, we created a, an if statement to make sure that the choice that the person made is between one and four by checking the number is, is inside the you know, prices. And if it is, if the choice is a valid one, we, we get the, the price that the person made uh, through the, the, the price dictionary. We also get the type of coffee that they got using the coffee type uh, dictionary. And uh, here we calculate the total by multiplying price and quantity. And after that, we updated the receipt at the type and the total. Coffee type will be coffee type at the total will be the total. I rounded down to two decimals, but it's not necessary. You can use the total total here instead. And here we returned the receipt after we updated the, the receipt. And if there is any errors, this function will return as this uh, message. And lastly, this uh, function is called get receipt, and uh, it will give us uh, the receipt. Here's just a, a message that I added. Uh, here's your receipt. Thank you. And here is the dictionary receipt. We are just looping through the key and the value and here we are just printing the key and the value uh, separated by a tab and here at last we are just creating dashes here we will we will instantiate uh, our class we'll say cs coffee shop cs get receipt so when we run we should see everything working so you can see here it says hello welcome to our coffee shop what's your name say mike and here's the uh, menu let's say we want black coffee which is one the quantity just one so you can see the name is mike the type is black coffee. The total is $2. The name is Mike. The choice would be two. Quantity is one. It's 315. And the type of coffee is espresso. My tree, one. Uh, the type is latte. And the total is $4. Uh, Mike, four, one. The type is cappuccino. And the price is four ninety nine. dollars So every, every choice is coming through. So there is no unexpected things that we see here. Let's check if the error handling is actually working. What if we start with a number? So it says error, enter a valid string name. So we'll say Mike. How about the choice? How about if we just add zero? Uh, not, uh, not a valid uh, choice. How about negative number? How about about uh, number 88. Mm, okay, how about number four? The name and choice passes. How about a, a quantity? A negative one, zero. How about 4.9? Uh, how about just one? So as you can see, the error handling is actually working fine. You know, we we, we added Mike. Uh, we added uh, we added Mike for the uh, name and the choice is number four, which would be uh, cappuccino, and the quantity would be one. What if I want more than one uh, coffee? Say Mike four. How about if I want ten of them? Ten times four ninety nine would be forty nine ninety.
you know, 0.9. So I think that would be it for this program. I will post it in, in GitHub, copy post it in GitHub, and I will commentate on everything I did. And I hope it will be helpful for the person that was having uh, errors in the previous uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, comment section, I, I read. Since the, this channel is a small channel, I read every single comment that I get. And I really appreciate uh, for you people uh, watching and uh, you know, giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel because that, that helps me and helps the channel. If you have any questions for me, uh, the tutorials about uh, you know programming in general, uh, let, let me know. Uh, write it down in the comment section. Uh, thank you uh, for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please uh, subscribe. Please give this video a like. I will see you next time.